Every fruit is unique and every fruit has its own odour. It uh, may be difficult for people to see, but I think that uh, the, the tree and the plant is given that fruit with love so that we may share in this symbiotic experience. If the whole world was to suddenly realise that fruit was actually a viable food source and that we can survive on purely eating fruit, then uh, we could turn this world into Eden. We could, basic, we, we could make this world into a paradise. My name's uh, Mango Wozak. Uh, I'm a fruitarian, basically just eat fruit, and I've done so uh, pr pr predominantly for the past 20 years. Yeah, they're nice. Yeah. I'm living with my partner, Kreta. She's also been fruitarian, eating uh, only fruit since the 1980s. So I picked here six mangoes and um, 12 little oranges. It's my breakfast. I lived many years without fridge. It's also possible. Like you can see, it's only fruit in there. We would never even allow people to cook in here because we don't like the, how it smells. The fruit is basically the only food which is truly given karmically freely. So everything else that you eat involves in some way damage or taking life. If you cut a tree down, you're ending the life of the tree. If you pull up a carrot, it's pretty clear that you're ending the life of the carrot. If you take an apple from a tree, you're not in any way harming the tree. The tree is deliberately by nature produced this flesh around the seed in order that you may take the seed away from the tree and give the tree a better chance of, of growing. Yeah, Look couple, at those beautiful pineapples here. Yeah. Prior to becoming vegetarian, actually at the time I did, I was working for IBM um, in Norway. But I just realised at a certain point that I did not want to spend the rest of my life doing what I was doing. It all started really for me as a very gradual process of, uh, it was like a, a series of awakenings. I think one thing that we have in common with animals, with all species, is our ability to suffer. There, there have been experiments done back in the 1970s. A couple of scientists wired up a lie detector to plants and found that plants reacted to any sort of threat of violence toward them. They almost were screaming about it. We might have maybe one or two more tomatoes, uh, but that's, that's what we would have for two people. We'll after dinner always have a little fruit snack as well. People look at our lifestyle and think that's extreme, but these people that are living on Maccas, they, they don't understand what uh, damage they're doing to their bodies. I fully disagree with the, with the food pyramid. I think that uh, there's a lot of propaganda behind that, the creation of that pyramid. If you eat only fruit, uh, you don't experience anywhere near as much uh, sickness as you would do if you're eating um, a standard diet. A lot of people would look at me and think I'm skinny, uh, maybe anorexic, but that's not true at all. I mean, I eat, uh, I eat all, uh, as much as I need to. My energy levels aren't low, they're good. Uh, my mind is clear, it's sharp. I lost some teeth back when I first started doing it, but uh, I would uh, put that down to my inexperience and the fact that I was eating too much unripe fruit. <laughs> Did you get a durian? Yeah, yeah. I don't know whether it's ripe yet, but yeah. I, see. I don't personally know anybody that eats fruit that just falls from the tree. I don't really think it's doable because I think that a lot of fruit doesn't fall from the tree anyway. You'd have to pick it. Around here, surprisingly, people aren't, there, aren't that bothered. They'll, they'll say, oh, just fruit. And they might ask, uh, they might say, oh, does that mean you don't eat this or you don't eat that? And, and I, I'll explain, yeah, that's true. Or they'll say, what about lettuce? Do you eat lettuce? No, I don't eat lettuce. <laughs> See you next time. My pleasure, Mango. Thank yeah. you, Thank Our friends that we have, they accept uh, that we eat the way that we do. So uh, they're quite happy to accommodate us if we visit them by giving us fruit. Yeah. But they cook, they cook them, though, don't they? Every which way. Yeah. Eden is a place where everything lives uh, at peace with, with, with other, other beings. It's a possible future scenario. I don't know when it, when it will happen, but I'm pretty sure that at some stage it will, it will happen, that we will actually reach that stage where every, 
All humans live at peace with not only one another, but with the other animals.